Haunted Hall. Haunted Hall. Hi and welcome to Young in Heart. Today we're going to learn more about a disciple called Stephen. The Bible says he was a wise man, full of God's grace and power, and did amazing things. But the religious leaders didn't like this. So they secretly asked some men to say that Stephen had been saying bad things against God and Moses. So Stephen was arrested and asked if this was true. He talked about Abraham and Moses and Joseph, then David, Solomon, and finally Jesus. All the time he was talking, his face looked like that of an angel. At the end he said, these leaders didn't listen to the Holy Spirit. And they were so cross that they immediately took him outside and threw stones at him. But just before Stephen died from the stones, he looked up to heaven and saw Jesus standing next to God. And he asked Jesus to forgive the men throwing the stones. Stephen knew that doing what God said was the most important thing. And he chose to do the right thing even when others didn't like it. And we need to trust God and be brave to do the right thing, especially when others don't like it, just like Stephen did. Our game today is all about standing up for doing the right thing. So when I say something that you think is the right thing to do, I want you to stand up. When it's not the right thing to do, sit down. Okay, so you ready? Stand up for the right things when you hear them. First one, hurting someone. Is that the right thing to do or not? Well done, I hope you stay seated down. It's not the right thing to do to hurt someone. Ready? Telling the truth. Is that the right thing to do or not? You're right, you should be standing up because it's the right thing to do. Ready for the next one? Being a kind friend. Is that the right thing to do or not? Great, standing up, well done. It's the right thing to do. Fourth one, breaking something. Is that the right thing to do or not? Lovely, breaking something is not the right thing to do. So we should be sitting down. What about sharing toys? Is that the right thing to do or not? Stand up if it is. Great, well done. It is a good thing to do to be sharing toys. Last one, telling lies, things that aren't true. Is that the right thing to do or not? Great listening everybody, that's not the right thing to do. God likes us to tell the truth. Well done. Great standing up there. For the things that are right to do just like Stephen was doing in our story. Our craft today is to think about making rock cakes like these ones here to help us remember the stones or rocks that were thrown at Stephen as he chose to do the right thing. So this is how we make them. You turn the oven on to 175 degrees Celsius and butter two trays ready for your rock cakes when they're made. Then measure out 225 grams of self-raising flour and one teaspoon of baking powder and mix it together. Then add in 110 grams of butter and rub it with your fingers until it looks really like small lumps, just like breadcrumbs. Then add 55 grams of sugar and 165 grams of sultanas or raisins. Mix it all together so it's nice and evenly mixed. Then add in one egg and one teaspoon of milk. Stir it round, mix it all together, 
so it's really gooey. If it's still a bit dry, maybe add a little bit more milk. Then pull the mixture into small lumps and put it neatly on the tray so that there is space between each one. Put it in the oven for about 15 minutes, depending on your oven. So keep an eye on it near the end. They should turn golden brown and be slightly firm to touch when they're ready. Then take them out and let them cool for a few minutes before you eat them. So that's how we make the rock cakes that will help us remember how, how Stephen stood up for what was right. Time to talk with Jesus. Thank you that you are always with us, by our sides, and that you make us brave, and that we can have confidence because you're with us. Help us to stand up and do the right thing for you, today and every day, even when others don't like it. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for watching Young in Heart. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. Young in Heart. Young in Heart.